You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. Well, I'm standing outside of our office here at 601 Main Street, and my Master Gardener volunteers have a flower bed on the south side of our office that we plant every year. And this is a special flower bed because it has many of the Prairie Star annual flowers that we promote through K-State as flowers that do well throughout the state. And they do well with very minimal care. And as you can see, the flower bed's looking really nice this year, and hopefully we'll have everything labeled very shortly. But this is a, a flower bed, like I mentioned, that has those Prairie Star annual flowers. And to be on the Prairie Star annual flower list, these flowers, the annual flowers that you see, so the marigolds, petunias, things like that, must be very um, prolific bloomers. They must be very colorful, must have good color throughout the entire growing season for at least three years. And these are flowers that are tested, like I mentioned, throughout the state. So not only do we have trials here at the Ag Research Center in Hayes, but there are trials going on in Wichita and in Overland, or in Overland Park, Olathe area, Garden City, Colby, throughout the entire state. So you get a good representation of prairie garden growing conditions. Now I said they get by on minimal care, the ones out in the trial garden at the Ag Research Center I know get planted. They may get a little tiny bit of fertilizer and then they get watered as needed. So that may be once a week, once every two weeks if it rains a little bit. But other than that, that's it. And as you can see, you have some nice color here to look at. Now on the south side of our building, we also have mixed in with these annual flowers a lot of drought tolerant perennials. And so standing right here in front of me are some daylilies. We have irises for spring color. We have Maynite salvia. We have all sorts of things. Um, sedum, sedum, autumn joy sedum behind me, which right now is wilting a little bit. But this is something that will bloom later on in the fall. So when you're planting your flower beds, you need to think about when these flowers are blooming. Obviously, annual flowers will give you that color all summer long, but if you're looking mainly at perennials, you want something that blooms in the springtime, such as iris, something that blooms during the summer months, like these daylilies, and then the sedum, which will bloom later on in the fall, and you can have a little bit of interest or color throughout the season. Now, if you have questions about what flowers are on that Prairie Star annual flower list, or if you have questions about what types of perennials might grow in our area here with minimal care, please contact your local Extension office for more information. We have those lists available for everyone to, uh, to come by and pick those up or they're on our website. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension, Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Extension Agent. You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. Spring is here and that means it's time to come out and visit Carico Implement in Hayes, Kansas for all your lawn care needs. We stock and sell the full line of John Deere riding lawn equipment along with Honda walk behind mowers and generators. We also offer the full lineup of steel power products. If your project requires even more muscle, check out our full lineup of John Deere compact tractors and skid loaders. And don't forget, we have the parts and services to keep you up and running all spring long. So whatever your spring lawn care and maintenance needs are, come on out to Carico Implement for a solution that fits.